What is happening, my people? It feels like it's been forever since I've checked out a BTS rap line song. Has it really been 10 years? <laughs> but it hasn't been that long. It's been a couple months, I think. And that's been by design. Um, I've intentionally put this one off because, uh, honestly, the most fun that I've had recording for this channel has probably been for the rap line songs for BTS. You know, the Cypher series and the medley and the, um, and Dang. And I just... It kind of feels like the end of a TV show, you know, one that you're really invested in, the finale's coming up, and I've just been putting it off because I just didn't want it to be gone. I didn't want it to go away. I wanted it to stay here with me. Please don't go! Oh. I just didn't want it to end, you know? But, alas, here we are. I can't put it off any longer. And I am just so ready for this. I just... The last time I did one of these songs, I think... You know, J-Hope was a clear bias of mine, and uh, don't get me wrong, I still love J-Hope. I think he'll always be my bias, but at this point, you know, after hearing all the other rap line songs and some of their other music, like, Suga and RM have just skyrocketed, especially Suga. RM was my bias record originally. Listen, you need them all. You need everybody in BTS. They're all, they all play their roles. They're all very important, but I have real trouble picking between these three, so I'm not even going to try anymore. So... Enough putting it off. First, I'm gonna watch the lyric video, then, I'm gonna watch a live performance. Piano intro. Little riser. Ooh. It actually sounds slower than I was expecting. I don't know why. I was just kind of expecting something fast. I mean, it could change, obviously. Hold on. Let's just take, take a quick second, alright? What is going on with these images right here? First of all, are these all real piercings? Look at Suga's ear. He's got like, what, five piercings right here? And it looks like RM's got a couple up here in the cartilage. And then they all have lip rings here. The lip rings are fake, right? Suga's got the librette piercing. I actually have that pierced. I don't wear the ring anymore, though. But these aren't real, are they? Let me know. I'm just so curious. Like, they all look, like, super dark here. Look at J-Hope's eyes. Are, that's not his real eye color, is it? They all look scary. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't want to get in a fight with these guys. Anyway, okay, back to the music. It's got a very emotional sound to it. Damn! Ooh! That little transition, great. It seems like to me, from what I understand about BTS lyrics, I'll, you could take it in a lot of ways a lot of the time. So far, it sounds like a breakup song. Uh, RM, by the way, his voice is so clear, and he just sounds so confident every time I hear him. Not just rapping, but speaking also. That it, he just comes off, and I said this in um, one of my other videos, he just comes off as, like, the leader, I guess. <laughs> Oh, damn. Dude barely needs to breathe. Are they saying tear or tear? Sounds like both. Total change of the beat here. So, like, you know, they had a very consistent beat going on, uh, the drum drum line at least very consistent going on through rm's part and then as soon as j-hope started it kind of backed off a lot and we're gonna get into letting j-hope do his crazy cadences i'm sure he's gonna be all over the place because he's always all over the place hey. 
Ooh, ooh, you hear that bass? Uh, real quick, I'm gonna go back. Listen to that little bass transition in the back. Boo doo doo doo, you hear that? Mm. And Sugar, okay, so him and J Hope right now kind of doing the same. Little different. Huh. So, it sounded like RM was saying tear. And then when it went over to Suga, it sounded like he was saying tear. And, because J-Hope rhymed fear with it. It sounded like that was intentional. I'm not sure if that's just like an accent thing, doing something different. But it definitely seemed like they were purposely saying the different versions of that word. Hey, a little more singing from Suga. Definitely seems like a breakup song. Dude, his voice, it's like so intense all the time. Ooh. He literally sounds like he wants to burn something. Ooh. It sounds it doesn't sound like a metaphor when he says it. You know, he's just so aggressive. It doesn't even sound like a metaphor. It sounds like he's literally telling you, burn this shit down. Right, I'm gonna go back because he changed his flow completely and I don't want to miss that transition. Oh, listen. His voice sounds totally different here. Real quick, just, uh, is, there's vocals underneath his rap right there? Is that Suga singing while he's rapping over it? Or did they get somebody else to do those vocals? Let me know in the comments, please. I love that shit. That bass line again, man, I love that. Okay, so I think they are saying both. I think they're saying tear and tear because it's like they're saying that this girl that they were dating is just a negative aspect on their life and no matter how much they love them they, they know that it's not gonna work out and it's always causing pain to both parties and tear is like you know if you were to say that she's your tear it's it's like she's tearing your heart apart but if you're gonna say she's your tear it's like she's making you sad so it's almost like collectively saying that she that that, that this relationship is is making you sad and angry at the same time it's just overall bad for you in every way but it's hard to get out of because you still have a heart Ah, oh, cool. I didn't expect this part. I was just about to start complaining that J-Hope didn't have enough lines, so I guess he's going to take us to the end. Let's go back to the beginning of the song. Alright, Hopester. Do your thing. That's what I'm talking about. Doing his thing. Oh. 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 Ah! J Hope! I can't with this guy. 
Like, I was literally just sitting there thinking, listen, I love Sugar and I love RM, and like, you know, J-Hope, the line distribution isn't the same in every song, obviously. And, you know, I, I see people complaining in comments a lot of the time. Oh, line distribution isn't good for this person or good for this person. Listen, they have a lot of songs, you know, it's going to switch back and forth. I didn't expect J-Hope to come in with that last verse there, but it was the best verse. I don't care. That was the best verse of the song. It was just his cadence flow, man. He was faster than I think I've ever heard him before. And listen, that's uh, RM and Sugar are both, they can go fast whenever they want to. They're always doing their thing. But J Hope's more of like the creative, like kind of, if this was like a scale, you know, like a line graph, a lot of the time RM would be kind of like wavering around the center part. And Sugar would probably be kind of like going straight, wavering, but then kind of hit some peaks and valleys and then come back to the flat part. While J-Hope is kind of just like, ooh, 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 all over the place. And that was proof right there. Like, that's what he does. That last verse. That last verse was just all over the place. It was chaotic, but it flowed with the song and it, and it, mmm. I just, mmm, 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 mmm. Well, I'm gonna listen a lot. No, let's listen to that one more time. I wanna hear his verse again. This just solidified my uh, bias, I think, again. Unbelievable. One of the things I noticed is like, you know, at the end of like a couple of the lines, just one word he'll like pull his breath in and kind of do this thing when i do it, i sound like scooby-doo but when he does it he sounds like he knows exactly what he's doing and it's sick like it just breaks up the flow the monotony of the words being said the the same basic way all the time and he just kind of adds this extra layer of creativity on top of it and it's just it just keeps you immersed into the song i'll show you what i'm talking about when it comes up Okay, this is flow number one, right? Flow number two, and here's a... <laughs> flow number three. Four. Even... Okay. Tay, uh, T, uh, that, that to me, tells me that they are saying both tear and tear. But just the way that he did that, like, that is... He's using his own creativity to kind of take basic words and, like, mess with them just enough to just make the song sound that much more interesting. Okay. I don't want to say that that was the best one. Because I feel like every time I listen to one, I think it's the best one. But that was... The best one. Let's check out the live show. Wow, their lighting is always peak. It's bigger. Oh shit. Sorry guys, I made it bigger and it stopped the recording, so we're just gonna go back a couple seconds and go again. Okay. There they are. They look like such badasses. Ugh, look at that stadium, man. Imagine what it's like to perform in front of that many people. Dude, you can tell he's been doing this like his whole life, you know? This is just like in his soul. Ah, it's so fast. The all black too, I like I feel like it goes so well. Oh, 
Don't look at the camera, bro. Come on. I hate when they do that. I hate when they look at the camera, because it's just like, I can't, I can't, like, I mean, I'm trying to maintain my composure. Like, I'm trying to be cool on camera, but, like, really, I just want to be like, ah! Or something. All their hair looks so good. Are they rocking the lip rings here? I'm trying to like look at their lips to see the lip ring. Get your minds out of the gutter. Nah. Yo, that's so much better. Okay, so, like, I didn't really want to complain about it because sometimes I complain about it too much. And I know some of you get a little annoyed about it. It's just part of the culture. I get it. The musical culture, at least. There's a lot of auto-tune that goes into a lot of these songs. And most of the time, it's not because they're trying to change the person's voice, but just because it works better with the song. There was a lot of auto-tune when he was singing in the uh, regular version, in the lyric version. And that's fine. Like, it sounds fine, but... It was a little too much for me. Like, I just want to hear his voice because at this point I know that he can sing. This is so much better, you know? Like, I can hear his vocals clean. I could hear him hitting the notes. I could hear the fact that he's not messing up. And that, like, you know, if the auto-tune was on, you have no idea if they're messing up or not. Like, I want to be able to respect them as much as I want to be able to enjoy the sound. So here I can get both of those. <laughs> Ooh. Change his voice there. Kill me without hesitating. His lyrics are always like the most. Like, it's like scary. He can be scary sometimes, you know? Where the ashes remain. You know, they're so much darker than everybody else's usually. I love that they're like breaking it down. They break it down in the middle of the song. Because some parts are so fast. And when you take it down to the slow part, it allows you to kind of like take a break before you get built up to go back into it again. And this part sounds the most emotional, too. So much jewelry, man. Look at him, he's like, he almost looks like he's ready to cry. He's feeling it so much. Oh, man. I don't think I've ever seen him like that before. Like, he just seemed so into it. I know I already listened to his part, like, twice, but let's listen to it a fourth time. Yes, I skipped number three. Look at him, look at his face, man. Oh, so good, so good. Brothers and sisters, guys, rap line fans, please provide me with what's next. I've heard people say RM Joke or RM Persona. Uh, Suga's August D. 
uh, J-Hope, his uh, Hope World mixtape, I think. I know that there's, like, things out there. Doing BTS rap line has legitimately been my favorite part of this channel, I think. Uh, finding Dreamcatcher. Because, obviously, I love them. But the BTS rap line videos are just, like, they just blow me away every time, you know? I just can't. I, I just can't. I can't. I can't. What's next, guys? You tell me. Much love.